Hello and welcome to Sorofsa's classes. Today we are discussing the IIT Jam 2020 Mathematical Statistics paper. In this question, we are told that there are two events E and F and we are asked to find which of the following statements is not always true. Not always true means it will be true in some cases but not in all cases. Now that means we have to start with some assumptions. Now nothing has been told about E and F but we assume that probability of E is greater than equal to probability of F. Now we represent these two probabilities using Venn diagrams. Now let this represent probability of E probability of E and let this circle represent probability of F probability of F now there can be three cases so this is case 1 case 1 is where the probability of E and F are independent now there can be a second case case 2 where we will have some dependency of these two probabilities now let us represent that in case 2 so we will have this as our probability E and we will have probability F Inter, in, intersecting probability E or overlapping with probability E and we will have a case 3 where case 3 where probability E probability E will will contain probability F that means probability of occurrence of F will be completely dependent on the probability of occurrence of E. So these are the three cases possible. Now we are asked to check for conditions around E intersection F and E union F. This is probability of E union F where we have two conditions given and then we have probability of E intersection F where we have two conditions given to be checked. So we have to check for probability E union F and probability of E intersection F. Now case 1. Here we can clearly see that probability of E union F is equal to probability of E plus probability of F. So this is clearly visible here and probability of E intersection F is 0 here. So there is no intersection here. Case 2 here probability of E union F is nothing but probability of E plus probability of F minus probability of E intersection F and in case 3 probability of E union F is equal to probability of E and probability of E intersection F is equal to probability of F. So these are the three cases possible. Now we look at uh, first we look at option B. So it says probability of E, E union F is greater than or equal to the max value of P E and P F. Now the max value of P E and P F in this case is P E because we have assumed that it is P E. So probability of E union F in the first case is P E plus P F so definitely greater than P E. So this condition holds for, for case 1. For second case probability of E union F is probability of E plus a positive number. This is nothing but this. 
so we are adding a positive number to the probability of e so probability of e union f is definitely greater than probability of e in case 2 which is what is told in this condition so this condition is valid for both case 1 and case 2 moving to case 3 probability of e union f is equal to probability of e that means this equality prevails so it is equal to probability of e so this condition holds true for all three cases so this cannot be the exception so this cannot be the exception moving on to uh, c which is also talking about probability of e union f uh, it says it is less than equal to the minimum of p e plus p f and 1 now case 1 it is equal to p e plus p f now there can be two cases here let's say probability of e is 0.3 and probability of f is 0.1 so probability of e plus f is 0.4 e plus probability of f is equal to 0.4 so if this happens then the minimum value of p plus p f and 1 would be 0.4 and here we can clearly see that the probability of E union F is equal to P E plus P F which is 0.4. That means it is equal to the minimum value. But if we take P E as 0.9 and P F as 0.7, then P E plus P F becomes 1.6. And then the minimum value of P E plus P F and 1 becomes equal to 1 and in the case 1 we can see that probability of E union F will be 1.6 so it is definitely not less than 1 as per the condition C so the condition C is not always true so this is definitely not always true and is one of the correct answers now let's check for the uh, intersection of e and f so intersection uh, of p uh, of e and f um, probability of that is zero in case one so uh, option d says minimum is less than equal to minimum of p e and p f minimum of p e and p f in this case is p f which we have assumed minimum is p f and therefore PE intersection F in case 1 is 0 which is less than PF is correct so this is correct in case uh, in case 1 in case 2 we can clearly see that uh, probability of E intersection F which is this part is definitely less than probability of F probability of F is the whole thing so probability of E intersection F is less than pf which means that this holds true in case 2 as well and in case 3 probability of e intersection f is equal to pf so the equality comes into play so this holds true in all three cases so this cannot be the correct answer uh, last one this talks about 1 minus probability e converts minus probability of f converts probability of e converts means probability of if uh, event e not happening so 1 minus probability of e so probability of ec is 1 minus probability of e similarly probability of f converse is probability of f not happening that means 1 minus probability of f so this term 1 minus PEC minus PFC means 1 minus 1 minus PE minus minus 1 minus PF which is nothing but PE plus PF minus 1 so this is the the term which is equivalent to this one so now let's check so the max value of PE plus PF minus 1 
and 0 will be uh, in, in case 1 P plus PF will have a finite value okay and this as I said can depend on two cases like case 1 is 0.3 and 0.1 so P plus PF is 0.4 so in this case P plus PF minus 1 is negative which is minus 0.6 minus 0.6 and in the case 2 it is 1.6 minus 1 which is plus 0.6 so it can be both cases so let's take uh, one case let's take the first case so max of minus 0.6 and 0 would be 0 and e intersection f less than equal to 0 means it has to be equal to 0 which is correct in the first case now in the second case uh, in case uh, 2 where, where we took uh, uh, p as 0.9 and pf as 0.7 and we got p e plus pf as 1.6 and p plus pf minus 1 is 0.6 so in that case the max value of 0.6 and 0 would be 0.6 and as we can see that uh, PE intersection F in the first case is 0 which is less than 0 0.6 so uh, so it holds true in the first case now in the second case PE intersection F so if we consider uh, the value of uh, PE as 0 0.3 and PF as 0 0.1 then in the second case PE is 0 0.3 and PF is 0.1 and this intersection can be can be any value let's uh, let's say 0 0.05 so this uh, so let this be the value of uh, p inter uh, p e intersection f in case 2 and uh, the value of p e plus p f minus 1 comes out to be minus 0 0.6 so the max value of these two it will be max of minus 0 0.6 and 0 which will be 0 so that means p e intersection f is less than equal to 0 but we see that it is 0 0.05 which is not less than equal to 0 so this condition is not true this condition is not true so the, uh, this is uh, an exception so this is not always true now we can further check it in case 3 using the same values so checking for uh, case 3 p is equal to 0.3 and pf is equal to 0.1 that means p e intersection f is equal to pf is equal to 0.1 here and from the first uh, condition we see that it will be max of minus 0 0.6 and 0 which is 0 so p e intersection f will be less than equal to 0 which is not true because it is coming out as 0.1 so definitely condition a is not valid in all cases and condition c is not valid in all cases and these two would be the correct answers